Hey guys, it is day three for our LBD, Little Black Dress Challenge. And I wanna see you all in your little black dresses at the end, so let's get to it, right? So today was 20 lunges, 20 squats, and 20 bridges, right? I did get a lot of questions yesterday about what a bridge was, um, and so I do want to um, demonstrate a little bit for you. So throughout the month, things are gonna vary a little bit. Um, and have all different kinds of exercises. So what you can do is take some of the different exercises and, and do them in different ways so that you're constantly kind of confusing your muscles and, and not doing the same stuff over and over. Plus you don't get bored that way either when you can um, vary, do variations of different workouts. So um, this morning I got up and I did um, core speed and um, dynamic core. Um, trying to get a little bit of longer of a cardio workout this morning. So um, I did do my share of lunges yesterday, and um, but I haven't done bridges in a while, so those are pretty cool. So as far as the squats go, um, you actually can do these in a number of different ways depending on how um, your body feels and where you kind of want to work things. So you can do squats where you do plie squats, and then you're working the outer and back side of your um, legs and so what you want to do is make sure that your toes toes are pointed outward um, at an angle and when you come down you want to make sure that you're parallel here as well and you can come up and down and when you come up you want to squeeze so this back side of you gets that nice pull up in the back and do 20 of those you can also bring your legs in and do it like a ski but you want to make sure that your knees don't go over your toe you want to always stick your butt back like you're sitting down, okay? So if you do those ones, just make sure that your butt goes back versus doing this way. Um, and you can have your legs a little bit farther out too, if that works better for you too. So kind of mix that up. Now the lunges are pretty cool too because I actually just did some walking lunges, um, which are cool. So you can stand in place and do walking ones and step back this way, or you can do like the death march and do it that way too. So again, same thing with the knees. Don't lunge over the toes. You wanna to make sure that when you do go down, you're like this. So if you want to do stand in place, you could do it this way too. Whichever feels best to you. Several variations. Again, no knees over the toes. If you need to go back a little bit farther, you can. Also, if you wanna take your leg out a little bit to have a wider stance for balance, you can do that too. So you can do narrow ones or take out a little wider. All of those are okay. Um, last but not least is the bridge. And this is a good one because this works your bum and lots of us ladies like those types of, types of exercises. So you're basically going flat on your back and taking your butt up into the air. Two, three, and eight. When you take your butt up at the top, squeeze at the top, get those glutes nice and tight, and you'll have a nice round butt in no time. So message me if you have any questions. Make sure that your nutrition is on track for the day. Um, if you have any questions on that, let me know. Um, really, you know, uh, your success is going to be uh, your nutrition is 80% of the equation. 10% um, is your genes and your genetics, and 10% is your exercise. So I always tell people that if you're not, um, you know, if your diet doesn't start in the kitchen, then the rest of uh, your goals won't fall into line. So um, those are very, very important things that you need to follow. Um, message me if you have any questions. Have a great day. Tomorrow is a rest day. How is that for timing, right? So have a great 4th of July, and um, I'll see you back here on Saturday. See ya.